So today's show, I'm going to be taking callers live. If you would like to call in live and ask a question, the number is 414-897-2869. Nope. Six, that is my private number, please. I, 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 the number to call in for the show to ask a question live on the show is 845-277-9131. One, the other number is actually not even my private number. It's my business number that you call if you'd like to schedule a reading. Yeah, it, it's that kind of morning, isn't it? Yeah, it just is. Okay, so before I get started, I want to say I will never reach out to you to give you a reading or ask you if you'd like a reading. Um. So please, if somebody reaches out to you, report them, block them, mess with them. I don't know. Do what you want with them, but don't give them your money. Uh, anyway, um, I am going to be taking callers in a moment. Callers, I will call out your area code. And my first two callers have the exact same area code, which is 216. So that's awesome. Um when I call your area code, please uh, give me your name and where you're calling from. And then also any, um, and then whatever question you have or connection, meaning if you want to connect to somebody on the other side, please, it, it, I don't, I, you know, just the way I work and whether you like it or not, whether you want this or not, it's not my problem if you don't want me to work this way, whatever. Um, especially on the show, you're calling in for a reason. You're you, There's something, some question or relative or loved one you want to connect to. Have a very specific question available. Have a very specific relative you want to connect to. If you would say, oh, just give me whatever, I'm probably going to mute you and go to the next person. Not because I can't do that. I can. I can give you whatever. But for the sake of the show and helping the show go quickly and helping me to get through as many people as possible, just have a specific question or connection ready. Um, if you want me to spend time going through your energy and finding whatever you need, that's fine. We'll just book a private session. Um, and since I've started working, I've always worked based on what people want and need from me as far as questions. Um, because I found as a child when I just blurted things out that needed to be blurted out, I would get into it. A bit of trouble because <laughs> not everything I apparently not everything is supposed to be said and even like some people I know in my in my outside of my work life when I tell them what just what comes through it just causes chaos and problems because people don't really want to hear what they need to hear especially if they're not asking. And I get that. I really do get that. Alrighty. I want to say hi to a couple of people I never get to say hi to. Hey, Mario. Hey, Todd. Um, hey, uh, Scott. I think I do get to say hi to Scott every once in a while. I remember to do that. Hey, Scott. And of course, hi, Stevie Oliva. Um, I hope you're having a good day at work. I think Steven's at work right now. Or he's just getting done with work. So for those of you who are no new, Stevie's my little brother and he's um, 40. Yeah, 40 and nope. Yep, 40 and um, he has downs. And I'm going to tell you, sometimes I get a little bit like rally because people will call in and they'll say, I don't want to work. And I'm like, my 40 year old brother with downs works. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> not that I'm unsympathetic. I'm just was not brought up that way. Like we were brought up like you work and that's just it. Um, 
So yeah, so I don't know. I'm not whatever. Uh, let's see what else. So what else do I need to say before I get started? I am on every um, on most social media. If uh, you would like to check me out on TikTok, Instagram, or Facebook, I'm there. There's plenty of clearings. I did not get to my clearings yet this morning. I'm going to do that next. Right after the show, I'm going to put some clearings um, and healings up on TikTok and then share them to the other venues. I know there was something else, and I can't think of it right now. Okay, let's go to callers. Uh, 216-650, you're the first caller. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, hello there. My name's Sharon. I'm calling from Ohio. Hey, Sharon, how are you? How can I help you today? I'm doing wonderful. It's been a while, so okay. I'll get right to the direct question. <laughs> this Wednesday, today I have a vacation day. But Wednesday, I have my semi-annual review. How is that going to go for me? I love my job. I hope it's going to go well like the last one. Yeah, Whew. it's going to go. Honest, yeah. yeah, it's going to go good. Um, I feel like everything I is. Get, I, I get so neurotic. I know. I oh. Yeah. I, go on. Sorry. It's, it's okay. I feel like everything's going to flow. It's going to be in. It's going to go really well. I just feel like it's going to go good. You don't have anything to worry about. I think they really like you there. I feel like um, everything is just going to be good. Very, very good. And okay, so, okay, this is uh, something. Um, there's a woman that just stepped in. So if this happens, it doesn't happen for everybody. But if it does happen, I will. Um, I will. Okay. Uh, do it, but uh, and my throat is starting to get froggy, or uh, like I can't talk as well. Like, so maybe this woman, uh, there was something with her voice or her talking toward the end, but she is a little bit more mature in years, and I feel like she was either a mother or a grandmother, short it toward the end, shorter hair. Um, and uh, well, the point is what she wants to say. Um, and then I'm hearing, it's and I, grandma. oh, thank you, thank you. And I don't know if this is someone you know or somebody else who's who's watching might know this person. Um, but if this might be two separate things, but we have the person who just stepped in here, grandma, and then I'm hearing the name Marjorie. So if if Marjorie is not for you or and, and this doesn't have to be grandma's name. It can be somebody else's name on the other side or somebody here. But the name Marjorie's coming through. So if that's not you, it's somebody else listening. And I'll get to that in a second. Um, uh, so gr grandma, grandma, this is so weird. But grandma is saying, look both ways before you cross the street. Now, this can be something that is... <laughs> literal or figurative okay so literal means like literally look both ways before you cross the street figuratively means like be very careful with your choices and decisions um or maybe that's just something she used to say and that's a confirmation for you. I'm going to tell you she wants you to know she's watching out and she's helping you. Okay, that this is just freaking ridiculous. She, it's not. It's not ridiculous. I've just never. It's cute. It's. I'm going to use the word cute. She's helping you get to the other side. She's helping you cross the street. So the, I feel like maybe there's something going on in your life right now and it's like a busy street with a, a lot of traffic that you're trying to navigate. So whatever is going, if there's something going on in your life right now and you're trying to uh, navigate it or get through to the other side or, you know, sometimes we can say, if I can just get through this, then everything, I can't wait until this is yep. done. Or if I can just, that's what she's referring to, you're whatever right. that is for you. 
and she is saying she just put the biggest smile on her face. Oh my gosh, she just put like the biggest smile on her face and she's like nodding her head like, yes, that's it, that's it, that's it. She's helping you get through um, over the hump and she's saying whatever this little this little situation is that you're trying to like navigate. Yeah, she is letting you know that to look both ways because if you if you don't walk if you don't slow walk this or kind of look at everything something might hit you out unexpectedly something might um come out of like come out of uh, like come out of like like you might get hit with something unexpectedly or something you're not expecting is going to pop up. So whatever this is, please know that she is working diligently to make sure that you you are looking both ways before you cross the street. Okay, that's just that message. That's what I need to say about that. From her. Marjorie, you know, it's funny though. Her name is Miriam. It could be a Marjorie, but her name, Miriam oh, sounds a lot like Marjorie, but yeah. it, it doesn't matter. That her name is Miriam, but yeah. it doesn't matter. It, it, Marjorie, who knows? A Marjorie, it could not be for me. I, I don't know. No. But there is one little thing at work. Yeah, and you're right. It's just one thing I have. It's a particular person I'm trying to harmonize with, and you're right. It's a, it's a little thing, but I see what she's saying. Be yeah. cautious. Mm. Thank you so much because I feel like there's something unexpected about to come out. And and if her name is Miriam, sometimes I'll my brain, my mind will go to the okay. familiar name. But there could also be two women here, one named Marjorie that is um that is also waiting for somebody else. But, but that but or it could have been an aunt, uncle whatever who knows i know but but this is her this is definitely your grandmother and she's saying there's something unexpected that might pop up that you're going to have to um kind of navigate so so tr kind of tread lightly is is the message that i'm getting okay. um in moving forward with this situation and you'll be really really happy that you did um, because I know what you mean. excellent. Thank you so much for confirming that. And thank you so mm -hmm. much for calling in and asking this question. And I'm thanking Miriam. Thank you for coming in and, um, and giving her this follow-up message. And thank you for giving me a response to my review. Thank you. Thank oh, you so much. Yeah. I needed that today. I yeah. get myself worked up. Oh, <laughs> thank no, you. absolutely. It's going to go very, very well. Okay. Very, very well. And th and thank you again so much for calling in. Thank you. Thank you. You have a I want to listen to your other readings, okay? Yeah, please stay on and, and do. I'm going to be doing some clearings as the show goes on, so it'll be good. You'll also be part of the clearing, so that'll be perfect love, okay? Thank you. Sure. No problem. Excellent. Excellent. And actually, let's do the first clearing for harmonious work uh, relationships. And I get a no, we don't have that. So let's clear that to a yes. And I know um, that can be a difficult situation. Let's go to 216404. Where are you calling from? What's your name? This is uh, Bernard calling from Cleveland, Ohio. Hey, Bernard, how can I help you today? Yes, uh, I have a, a lady friend, uh, we real close, we work together too, but um, like every time we uh, get like in a comfortable spot, like she, uh, she pulls away, like she's uh, scared of getting hurt. You see us getting closer in, in due time? Um... Eesh. Okay, so what I'm going to say, Bernard, is um, I don't think she's afraid of getting hurt. I think that this might not be what you think it is. Um, I Here's what I'm going to tell you, uh, what, what 
your angels. Uh, actually, Bernard, you have a um, a woman here also. A woman just stepped in and there's a man next to her. You guys, I absolutely adore when this happens. I love when loved ones step in and they're so like here and let me know they're here. So this um, older woman was a little bit fuller. I feel like she might not have been really tall. Um, and then the man next to her had like, um, he wasn't full. He might have, especially towards the end of his life, he was not full. He was maybe a little more, um, I don't want to say thin, but he had, he didn't have a big frame or big body towards the end of his life where this woman was a little bit fuller. She, she was at a little bit fuller. So what I, and, and what I'm going to say is I think that they were um, at one point together because they're standing next to each other and they're dressed fairly nice. Okay. So I don't know why these things are important, but they're descriptors and they want me to tell you these things, Bernard. So what I'm going to tell you is um, between your ancestors and your angels, the messages that I'm getting is this uh, move on. And there's this song and I see it written in like 70s letters on what they call an album, 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 album that kind of cover, like the record cover. Okay. And it says move on. And it's like a groove. I hear it was like a groove song, but they're say basically, okay, we're going through all of this just to say, <laughs> yeah, uh, you might want to consider moving on to someone new or someone else, because I feel like you, you are trying to win a situation that might not be winnable, okay? I do feel like, and I don't know this woman and I don't like to, this woman might not have the best intentions for you or with you. I do feel like you should keep your work relationship with her very professional and back off a little bit and find somebody outside of work. And I do feel like you are going, you have the potential to meet somebody outside of work in a month, between a month and a half. So in four to six weeks, which puts us, where are we? We're in the middle of August, September, October, middle of September, beginning of October, you have the potential to meet somebody brand spanking new. And this person, you do not know this person. You have never met this person before. When they say brand spanking new, brand spanking new, somebody you have never met before. I do feel like this person coming in is um, has a sassy, funny personality. Like they can do those one-offs and make you laugh. They kind of catch you off guard with that. I'm going to tell you the person coming in is a much better fit. They are actually ready for a relationship. They're not about that push-pull game. Um, not that the woman at your work is playing a game. I'm just saying what I'm saying. Um, it's somebody that knows what the person coming in knows what they want and they're not afraid to go for it. And the person coming in actually really likes, is going to like you, and the two of you will have a good connection. So if you can let go of this thing that's going on, I feel like you will be in a really good place moving forward, and the next person will be a better person. Does that make sense, Bernard? Yes. Yeah. And I, I just, I do want to say for you and anybody else listening, I don't think, you know, sometimes people are afraid to get hurt, but I do feel like if somebody is, I, I feel like you just need to really back off of this woman, woman and get into a situation that is more authentic and and that's I'm just gonna leave that there okay love 
Oh, okay. Thank you so much. And your grandparents are are also. Uh, I think they're your grandparents. I'm I'm gonna say grandparents. They really want you to know that they are uh, trying to navigate or guide you in a different direction. Also, okay. Thank you so much, Bernard, right. for calling in. I hope you have an amazing rest of the week. All right. Thank you. You are welcome. Okay, everybody, if you're interested in a private reading, T-O-N-I-G dot I-N-F-O is my website. And um, I'm going to go to the next caller. If you want to call in today to have a question or a connection, the number is 845-277-9131. I'm going to go to 305. 305, how are you today? Hi, Tony. Thank you. Yeah. I'm doing fine. I had a little injury to my hand. My name is Eileen, by the way. Okay. Eileen. I had an injury to my hand, and it's, it's a little making me slow down because I'm an artist, and I can't use my right hand as well, but... I have the appropriate uh, cuff on it and all of that kind of stuff, and I just put a splint in my thumb. Do you see it healing fine? I have four more weeks to wear this thing. Yeah, I. you know what? It is going to, the biggest thing I'm hearing is don't push it. Listen to, like, um, listen to what, like the doctor, listen to what they said. Don't push it. Don't try to just don't push it. Don't do anything you're not supposed to be doing at this time. Really baby this, this injury. Um, I do feel like it's a very intri intrinsic. Now, I feel like they're using that word because maybe where this injury is, it's very tricky and you need to really baby this injury. So please don't push it. Please be very careful with this um, and allow it to heal the way it needs to without being um, without pushing it. That's that's just the word I keep getting. I hope that makes sense to you, love. Yeah, yeah. Um... I'm not lifting anything. I'm using my elbow. <laughs> I'm using my left hand. I'm having other people do things to me. I think the biggest part is cutting vegetables up. So, I mean, I can eat with my left hand. I'm working with my left hand on the computer. I'm painting with my left hand. Um, brushing my teeth with my left hand as best as I can. Yeah, so you know? that's good. So that's... And for six, I didn't use any on it and then I went and had an MRI and then I found out there's four little fractures in the wrist. Yeah, okay. But I feel it's healing. Yeah, I it is. And yeah. again, I'm just getting don't push it, um, baby it, don't don't just don't push it because I think and it, you don't want to do more damage or you don't want to prolong the healing process. So please go very slow uh, and don't don't push anything. Yeah. And I hope that was helpful for you, love. Yeah, yeah. And my knee, is there any, there's nothing with the wrong with the knee either, right? It's just. A OK, so I'm going to move on to the next person. And thank you so much for calling in. But everybody gets one question or one connection. And please do call back next week and I'll be happy to. Um, help you with that. I'm going to go to 347. 347. It's funny. I love, I love, I, oh, yeah. 347, what's your name? How are you today? Hi, Tom. Hi, Tony. I'm fine. How are you? This is Tanika. I'm calling from Long Island, New York. Hey, Tanika. How can I help you? Um, I actually have a question about um, someone that I'm interested in, and I didn't know if you could um, look into our situation for me. Absolutely. First name of the person you're interested in? Sure. His name is Aris. That's spelled A like Apple, R as in Randy, I as in Ingrid, S as in Sam. And I have his birth date. No, nope, um, I don't. And it's so funny, his birth is... I don't need that, love. Okay, so... 
Okay. Tell me about it. You know, um, the first thing I'm hearing is good. It's good. Um, I, um, I'm hearing three months. I don't know if that's how long you've been together or how long until the next thing. Do, um, okay. So the one thing I am getting that might be a little bit, um, something to think about. Um, and I have to say this carefully so that you hear the whole thing. But the one thing that I am getting is that there might be the potential for other people or another person to interfere with this relationship. Now, I know the first thought that most people have is, is it another woman or another man? No, nope, no, nope, not in the, I'm not feeling that in this case, but sometimes when you start a relationship with someone or you're in a relationship, either if your friends and family or their friends and family might carry a lot of weight in their decision. And um, what I would say is before you really... Okay, if, I, if I'm going to say, I want to say this the right, like in a in a good way. What I want to say is make sure that the two of you have taken the steps to make sure your relationship is very secure and you know, you both know what you want and where you're going before you really involve other people in this situation. Um, I think with some people there are just certain family members that are or friends that are never going to want them to make somebody else their 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 priority or give them their attention or whatever it is okay um so whatever this is with the and it might be on your side it might be somebody on your side that is like feeling that way, whether it's a friend, a sister, a family member, what, whatever it is. But what I'm getting is this is a good connection. It has the potential to be a, a very solid connection. The two of you have to work very diligently on not letting other people interfere with this connection. Now, what that means also is you don't go to your friends and tell them every good thing or every bad thing or sometimes anything because friends can be um, and, and siblings sometimes can be full on haters that want what you want <clears throat> and are jealous of what you have and beyond their own even knowing they can do things or say little things to try to dissolve this situation. Um, I don't know what it is, but I just get that there's the potential for a little bit of outside interference here. Okay, thank you so much. I will be back Wednesday at noon for a minimum of 30 minutes. Until then, have an absolutely 90 amazing, absolutely amazing rest of the week.